Howdy folks, it's Neil here from Post to Post coming at you with the last jersey unboxing in my big 10 jersey box. It's not the last jersey unboxing you'll see on the channel, that's for damn sure, but it is the last in this little mini series of the Rivers Retro jerseys. So I have got 11 total, I believe, maybe 12, but I have no more orders. So this is the last Reverse Retro that you'll see unboxed on the channel unless I find one that goes on sale in the future, you know, or something like that. But uh, this isn't going to be a surprise. It's the Edmonton Oilers <laughs> by process of elimination. We know what all the teams are now, and Edmonton is the only one left. So let's get it out of the box, and let's take a look at it. I don't even have to hide my face this time. I can I can reach right for it. There we go. Whew, this looks good. The Edmonton Oilers. Reverse retro. Uh, I believe that this is nicer than their previous one. You've got so much nostalgia here. And this really, like, I, I talked about nostalgia in a couple of videos ago, but it holds true here for this one as well, for me personally, because I was very active uh, in, in watching NHL hockey and even some AHL hockey at the time, but really NHL hockey during this time. Ooh, laces. I didn't know I had laces. <laughs> and this logo here just literally represents a time in my life. And I can, I can pick up memories just like that. Oh, that was a bad snap. That was a bad snap. That was better. And I think about, I think about, you know, where I was in my life and stuff and watching hockey. I remember when they were wearing these jerseys and to have it come back, finally, the COG jersey, the, or the COG logo, the McFarland logo is just wonderful. And they just absolutely nailed this jersey. Like it's everything about this jersey is perfect, specifically the arms. Like the arms are so nice. Look at these numbers on the white in that little section of the arm just looks unbelievable. That's a literally a perfect stripe. The shoulder patch up here is probably my least favorite and it's quite thick, so it might be a little bit uncomfortable to wear. It's still fine. Uh, the NHL logo being orange complements the jersey perfectly because the jersey has orange as the accent color. Now the logo. The logo is beautiful. However, there is some just a small bit of bubbling. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell. It's very, very insignificant in this logo. It was quite egregious in some of the other ones. But... There is definitely some, some bubbling here in this section of the logo. But other than that, this is a beautiful logo in prime green cut. It's huge. Nice, like some metal fleck kind of texture material in here. Just hits the, or the light hits it very nicely. These little kind of uh, rivets or whatever, whatever in this cog looks pretty good. It's beveled out. Yeah, that logo actually looks really good. The seat on the front looks amazing. You know who's on the back. Obviously, it's McDavid. And, oh, wow. Seeing those numbers for the first time on that blue outlined in orange. Oh my God, that looks good. Like that looks so good. And the nameplate, just a real simple nameplate. No orange up here, blue backing plate to match the jersey and just simple white text, McDavid. That V looks like a U, I will definitely say that. Um, and I've, I, I noticed that actually during, I think it was highlights I was watching and I saw the back of his jersey and I'm like, did they screw that up? But no, it's just a font like that. This V is 100% is completely right but for whatever reason, just kind of looks like a U a little bit. Now the NHL or the Adidas logo on the back is silver, not white. So it matches some silver that you won't see on the back, but you will see on the front here. Um, but it's not color matched to be orange or anything like that. Uh, another shoulder patch on the other side, same shoulder patch as before. I would say that this is almost perfect. Not as perfect as the Pittsburgh jersey, but pretty damn close to being perfect. It is absolutely one of my favorites. And uh, I would say probably my favorite yeah, I'll say, yeah, I think it's my favorite Edmonton Oilers jersey that I have in my collection. So very happy to get this one and very pleased that um, I was I was able to financially buy 10, uh, actually 12, I guess, uh, reverse retro jerseys was not an easy thing to do financially. I actually saved up quite a, quite a long time to be able to get those 12. Um, last time, I think I had like 25 or 26 total over a, probably a year, a year and a half of buying. I've sold many of those in order to buy some of these actually. So it's an expensive thing to do to buy any hockey jersey really. They're incredibly expensive compared to other sports, but to buy a bulk of 12 at once, all hand stitched, very, very expensive. But I don't have any regrets because they do hold their value and I can resell them if I get in trouble or anything like that. I'm, I'm in a very good position financially in my life in general. I don't have a lot of money, but I'm not like broke or you know in, in massive debt or anything. I'm just like floating along basically, just kind of chilling not not gaining a lot not losing a lot <laughs> is kind of how i'm going so um this jersey is going to be one that you'll see quite often on the channel uh, now that i now, now that i have it it's one of my favorites for edmonton you'll see me wearing it quite a bit and if you want to see those videos and you're new well, you gotta hit the subscribe button i love to see you on board here joining the post to post family hope you guys are having a great day and uh, if you did enjoy this video hit the like button i'd really appreciate that if you're searching for 
more reverse retro jerseys, Cool Hockey does have a bunch in stock. So you can use the URL, coolhockey.com slash post to post. Just an affiliation link is not going to cost you anything extra. And, uh, you know, search the site and see what's in stock, see what's in your size, and feel free to feel free to make a purchase. But this was uh, hand stitched from Cool Hockey, and it looks looks pretty much perfect on the back. I don't I didn't see any mistakes, but maybe some loose threads cut off, but that's expected on every jersey, basically, that you get from, from anywhere. So there you have it. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this jersey. Talk to you soon. Adios. Yeah.